Now how is everyone out there today? I know I've not been that productive on the videos. Trust me, life has been busy, but it's no bad thing. It's the way things go. But anyway, back in the bikes today. I really need to get this Honda CX500 done, ready, in time for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. And it will be done, I've got faith in it. Since you last saw the video, of course I haven't filmed these bits, but they're important bits anyway. I have drained and bled the brakes, so now the front brakes are working fine. Also, we had a leaky radiator, I think there's a quick clip here. Actually, this is my next problem. See that little drip there? It's coming from the radiator. Turns into a big drip. But not to worry, I know exactly what's going on here. Just under there, you can see that the head of the plug is actually, there you go, there's the water coming out there. So that was all cracked, I went, I went to have a look. There's water seeping out, and then I realised that the, the head had actually been snapped off and just been left there. So obviously I didn't see that when I drained the system because I drained it from, from the pipes themselves. We had a leaky radiator and it was coming out of the plug and what I found out was that the, the plastic drain plug at the bottom sheared off pretty easy so it meant that I actually wasn't holding anything there. I think what might have happened is that someone might have overturned it before, snapped it, stuck it back on with glue pad. We've put a new plug in there now and today it's ready to be synchronised. That is today's job, synchronise the CX and then we can uh, then we can have a little test ride. We can have, have a bit of fun double check everything, I need to wire up the speedo and taco, that's obviously a given, but after that, MOT time and hopefully, you know, we've got 20, 20 days, 21 days, whatever it is, till the distinguished gentleman's ride, so that's enough time to test the MOT and hopefully if there's anything wrong with it, then we can address the issues then, let's get to it. So now I've got the bike warmed up and everything like that. To synchronise the cabs it has to be warmed up, it has to be running without the choke, obviously because you're running, you know, trying to synchronise a bike that's running off choke isn't really synchronising it, you're using an alternative supply of fuel to go into the cabs, going into basic layman's terms. The exhaust strap is still smoking, I mean it's been going for a while now and it's still smoking. I'm guessing it needs a proper run before it starts curing and everything. Now that the bike's warmed up, you know, it's running a lot better than what I remember. There's no flat spots today. Why that is, I've no idea. But anyway, let's hook up the synchronizing gauge onto this and see how it goes. Obviously what 
what I forgot to do first of all is synchronize that. Oh god, where's it going? It's going on a little walk. Is actually calibrate this. So let's calibrate these first of all. There's no point trying to synchronize something if it's not if the needles aren't in the same place. Let's do that. So what I did was, obviously this is a slightly different carburetor to what's on the CX500, but it is a CX500 carburetor nonetheless. So what I did was unscrew this locking bolt here, and just at that little screw here, you can see that this shaft here is independent to that shaft, so when that opens, really squeaky, obviously turns with that at the same time as that, but by adjusting this screw here, you're actually opening and closing this carburetor here. So essentially that's how you're synchronizing both carbs to be running together. And that is all I'm going to do for this video. The bike synchronized as well. That is running in sync. The bike sounds good. It's idling. There's no flat spots. I'm happy now. The next thing I can do is take it out just up and down here. I can't take it on the road just yet. There's no tax on it. There's uh, definitely no MOT. And there's a few of the little bits that I need to do. Uh, the headlight for some reason has disconnected itself. I don't know why. I need to find out why that is. I need to put the horn on. That's that's one of the things. I keep on forgetting the horn. It won't pass its MOT without a horn. And also the rear brake light. I created a little mount just for the rear brake light switch. Uh, so that's going to go there. I need springs for the rear brake light. But apart from that, it's all done. I just need to wrap up the wires, make sure that I don't get any shortages like I did before in the last video where it went up in smoke. I don't want that to happen again. So that's all I can do. Now hopefully next video will be up fairly sharp. It should be riding up and down and then we'll have it all in time ready for the Distinguished Gentleman's Ride. Exciting times. And it does sound fun. And to be honest, it's so loud. I think I might need earplugs. It's so loud. That's with the silencer in as well. If it was a straight through system, which I can make it, it's easy enough to take the silencer out. Might need rejetting, of course, because obviously you're modifying the exhaust again. But, oh my gosh, it's loud. It is loud. It's, it's going to be so loud at the event. Looking forward to it. That's all from me. If you like what you see, if you want to stay up to date with these three bikes, subscribe. Give me a like. Drop a comment down below if you want to. I always read them and I try to reply to all of them. Until next time, have fun, ride safe, and see you next video.